The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency and Okuma. Tim C. Smith here sitting in for Fred Galafaro as he recovers from foot and ankle surgery with this week's fishing forecast. The fishing reports continue to be sparse to say the least. It's a tough go for codfish on the Block Island grounds. Too many bad weather days have made it difficult for skippers to locate and stay on the fish. Most of the past week saw slow fishing on the few days boats could sail. The last positive cod report was from the Island Current on Saturday when they caught about 60 keeper cod with a mix of ling and pollock and lots of shorts. No one sailed Sunday or Monday due to rough seas and Tuesday's trip resulted in very slow fishing. To the west, Captain Steve on the Captain Al has been working the mud hole area for just a handful of small cod and ling. The Captain Al is sailing on Friday through Sunday. That's their schedule, weather permitting. Herring reports continue to be limited to the far west of the island. According to Jerry from Bernie's Bait and Tackle in Sheepshead Bay, the Canarsie, Coney Island, and the 59th Street Piers are seeing some sporadic action with herring. We did have some confirmed reports of white perch action from the Konequat River and behind Taco Bell in West Babylon. Most of the Konequat action has been confined to a handful of anglers with small boat access to the river. From Saltwater's Tackle in West Islip and Long Island Outdoorsman in Rockville Center, we heard that Mill River is producing some white perch as well. We didn't hear anything this week from Carmen's River. The one sure bet these days seems to be the trout fishing in the Konequat Preserve. Paul at River Bay Outfitters in Baldwin says uh, the only fishing reports he's getting is from the park. He had two newcomers to fly fishing come by. He set them up with rods, flies, and some quick instructions, and then sent them over to the Connecticut. They reported back they caught over 20 trout apiece and had a ball. Fishing in the park is limited to fly fishing only. There are two four-hour sessions a day beginning at 8 a.m. and noon. The cost is $25 per session. You can reserve a beat by calling 631-581-1005. Now, if fishing is not your thing this weekend, then there's the New York Sport Fishing Federation Forum and Auction at Freeport Recreation Center, Saturday and Sunday. The hours are 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. on Sunday. The auction begins at 2.30 on Sunday with lots of great items up for bid, including a trip to Tanaku Lodge in Alaska. I've been there. It's an amazing place. Tickets are $12, $10 for seniors and kids, and free if the kids are under 12. If you're looking to hone your fishing skills, the event has seminars featuring many local experts, and it's worth the price of admission alone. Topics include virtually every type of fishing available on Long Island. The weather's looking good for the weekend, so hopefully the head boats on their quest for cod will find success. Until next week, this is Tim C. Smith for The Fisherman.com. The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency and Okuma.